Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the month of September 2018. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, typically my readings are love readings, but the monthlies don't always come up as that, so we'll just see what comes up. The weeklies will be focused on love. This may talk about love. I mean, typically, you know, I focus on love. So Now, if you are in a happily ever after relationship, you shouldn't be watching this. You know, if you're happily married, you don't need a tarot reading. If you watch it to the end, you're not happy. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Mm. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. It's funny that I said that to you guys about if you're in a happily ever after relationship and you watch it to the end. If you guys are in denial and you're watching this reading, but you're telling the world that you're happy, that's a red flag. If you're flirting with others and you're in a relationship, that's a red flag. We're going to get you one more. I don't know why. <laughs> Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And you know, those words I said at the beginning, they came out for a reason. Somebody is pretending they're happy when they're not. And that's for people that are in a relationship now and they're telling the world that they're happy but they're not. If that's the case, this reading is probably for you. If you're single, we'll see what happens. If you're single... I don't know. Let's find out and see what happens. You could be flirting with somebody and this person isn't, you know, a good option. Probably have a suitor that's better for you than whoever you're dealing with right now but you know you may have lost your focus you may have lost your concentration you may have lost your ambition to to put yourself where you need to be this is lack of ambition lack of drive you could be dealing with somebody that is very negative you know and is bringing you down but you don't have the the guts to make a move. Some of you. Oh, the chair reverse. Yeah, there's a lack of willpower, loss of direction, and a lack of discipline. So somebody's not mastering their emotions with the chair at reverse. I'm not taking not taking the lead. Not putting themselves behind the wheel. Mm. So Aquarius, you're in reverse. There's an absence of peace. There's an absence of serenity. There's an absence of hope. You're not happy. Somebody ain't happy. With the star card reversed. A loss of faith. And this is needing to replace fear with faith. And you... There's a loss of faith with these two cards. 
And this could be your own negativity. I mean, this could be negative thinking as well. This is, or a person that you're dealing with that brings you down. This is typically a negative Nelly. You know, this is about focusing on your future, waiting for your ship to come in. Patiently waiting for things to change. How long are you going to wait? Somebody needs to put themselves in the driver's seat and go after their dreams, but they're not doing it. They don't have the mental strength to do so. You need to realize that your future is bright. It's about realizing that the future has multiple possibilities. But, you know, you may not want to deal with any conflict. Maybe, maybe you, um, are dealing with somebody that Or this is you. This is this is this is biting off more than you can chew. You know, maybe you don't want to bite off more than you can chew. But both of these cards are immature. You're dealing with somebody, or it's yourself. I mean, I have to tell you what this is. Somebody that is, and this is lack of strength, lack of wisdom as well. The chariot, I mean, the chariot, you have the ability to master your emotions. You're wise enough to know that you need to do it. These are both immature. It's like I don't have the strength. I don't have the willpower. I don't have the ability to put myself where I need to be. And it's only hurting yourself. Maybe you're having a difficult time communicating how you truly feel. Now there's an opportunity for happiness in the future. A lot of happiness. These are both cards of happiness and contentment in the future. This is the future. But you have to get prepared for it. And you have to realize that sometimes you have to be patient and wait for that right ship to come in. Mm. Yeah, so it looks as though you guys are restoring control or you need to restore control. You need to break tr free from some chains with the devil reverse. It's like breaking those chains. Breaking those chains will make you happy. But right now there's a loss of faith in yourself. There is, with the star card reverse, there's a loss of faith in yourself. There may be a loss of faith in a commitment that you're in. There may be a loss of faith in happiness. But you have to take action and you're not. Take action you're not afraid. Have no fear. Fear is holding you back. Now, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment in the future. They're mirroring each other. Once you break the chains, whatever these chains are. Oh, goodness. Let me shut that off. So this is for September. September, there is an opportunity for happiness and wish fulfillment. There is. You could be receiving some sort of communication but you don't have faith in it. There's no faith in it. So maybe you are afraid of being deceived. Maybe there are some red flags if you're single. You know, there's some red flags. You're receiving some communication from somebody, but you don't have any faith in it. Maybe you're like, oh, this person's too immature for me. This person is very negative, you know. So, but there's an attraction of some sort. So that's if you're single. If you are in a relationship now, I feel as though... You're doing everything in your power to keep it stable, to keep it happy. 
you know, you want things to remain structured. You know, you don't want to deal with any conflict if you are in a relationship now. You don't want to deal with it. You don't want to bring about any conflict, even though there's some dishonesty here. There's some dishonesty in regards to the happiness. And I think, like what I said earlier, it's funny that I started the reading out like that. Somebody's in an unhappy commitment, an unhappy relationship, and they're telling the world that they are happy. So, I feel as though this is dishonesty. This is lack of telling the truth, refusing to wake up, refusing to communicate honestly. This is dishonest communication. And, and there's no victory and success in, in deception and dishonesty. <clears throat> you won't make any positive progress. And that's because there's a lack of self-confidence. There's a lack of, of confidence, period. There's a lack of nobility here. Somebody's not doing the right thing. Holding on to something that is, you can touch it, yeah, it's tangible. But it's not love. It's not fulfilling. It's yeah. It's secure. It's you're holding on to something. If you're in a couple that is secure, it may be financially stable. Maybe you have a home. Maybe you have, you know, that person because it, you know a lot of people will hang on to somebody just to tell the world that they have somebody. That's ego, you know. But anyway, I feel like there you have to realize that your future is brighter than. You can even imagine if you could focus on that. But you have to be patient. Um, yeah, I think that you are involved in a situation where the love is dying. The love is going away with the Knight of Cups reversed. If you're in a relationship, it's like there's no ro romance growth, growth. There's no relationship growth there, but you're still holding on to it. Resisting this change because it's what you know. It's what you know. So, you know, I feel like and if you're single, there you're probably receiving an offer, but you know this person doesn't have any follow through. Yeah, there's an unexpected choice in love. And this is for both singles and couples. I believe that there is going to be a new attraction or there is a new attraction. There's somebody that is coming into your life or has come into your life that is not your usual type. This person comes in unexpectedly and they strike your fancy and you're probably still involved with somebody else or you are still tied to somebody else emotionally or you're still thinking negatively about the past so you're not allowing this new love to grow. But there is an opportunity for love here, Aquarius, with somebody new. It's not who you've been with, okay? It's not. So don't try to put that mask on and be dishonest with yourself like somebody has been doing. Take that mask off, okay? Because I feel like there has been some flirting with somebody new and there's an opportunity for love and it's probably happening way too fast it's happening very quickly it's like these are the rods of love that could lead to wish fulfillment with somebody new but you have to be able to master your emotions and have faith in this new beginning and you're going to have to accept a change and I think fear of change is huge huge here but wherever you're at, it's like it's not working out. So why, why, why would you stay there? Because you're not strong enough. You're not strong enough to put yourself first. Anyway, this lover's card is a card of choices and it's a card of consequences. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. You can stay where you're not happy or you can allow happiness and bliss to be yours. It's up to you. You can either have no wish fulfillment or wish fulfillment. It's a choice. It's up to you. I mean, it's up to you. The choice is yours. So this month is about making a choice. Do you want this new love or do you want to stay stuck? That's, do you want to stay stuck? I mean, what is it going to be? <laughs> stay stuck. Son of a bitch. You've been stuck. 
This is this card is about being stuck. That's the meaning of the card for those of you that don't know tarot readers, tarot readings. Because I know there's a lot of newbies, you know, family members that are curious about people reading. You know what I mean? I and for example, I have some family members that are curious and they're watching this reading, and they don't really know about tarot. So you know, they that's why I explain the cards sometimes for people that don't really know. A lot of you do. This card is about being stuck. Somebody needs to see things from the new perspective. They need to stand up for yourself. Luckily, this is reversed. It's time to stop sacrificing yourself. You've been sacrificing yourself needly in, so in some contract that is no longer emotionally supportive. And now you have a new opportunity waiting for you, looking at you, that is very well suited for you. But you have to get unstuck. You still have to stop sacri sacrificing yourself in a situation where there's no more growth. You need to speak up for yourself. Right now, I feel like there's a bunch of loneliness. I'm lonely. I'm lonely. Even if you're in a relationship, I'm still lonely. Bitter. You need to find that strength to love yourself. To let go of the anger. To let Because this is angry. The Queen of Swords reversed is anger. Because if you stay in a relationship that is less than fulfilling, resentment builds and builds and builds without in your sleep, without you even knowing it. Because you grow resentful as you're not, as you, you know, there's no relationship growth. You start to you start to feel more lonely. And what does loneliness do? It makes you ill. It makes you, it it steals your energy. Whatever. You need to find the strength, the courage, and the confidence to un to free yourself from something that you were you were bound to. You were chained to. So there is an opportunity for something new. If you can take the lead and master your emotions and find that strength to free yourself from something that is not good for you with the devil card. It's not meant to be. This is, this is a better suitor. Somebody that is going to love you for who you are and put an equal amount of effort. And the minute you meet this person or you see this person, your heart starts to pitter-patter. But fear is great. You know, you have to put in effort. You have to put in effort to be strong. To stop hurting yourself. To stop putting yourself on the bottom. Because wherever you're at, this is you and this is you. These both represent you. Wherever you're at, there's no wish fulfillment. There's no happiness. And you're feeling lonely. And it's causing resentment deep down. But the world thinks everything's okay, right? Right? You need to take the lead. You need to be the boss. You need to, take, you need to stand strong. You need to protect yourself. You need to stop deceiving yourself and accept the reality of this situation. This is accept the reality. So anyway, I feel as though there's an opportunity for new love here. Could be with an Aries. Could be with a Cancer. Could be with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like this is something you've been preparing for. Even if you don't know that you've been preparing for it, you have been preparing for it, maybe even subconsciously. 
this it could be a Gemini I don't know if I said that but anyway I feel as though this is something that you want deep down but you don't want to deal with the conflict you don't want to deal with the the break you know the break from wherever you're at even though you know it's gonna happen this break is going to happen whether it's this month or next month or whatever it is whether you're breaking chains with somebody from your past that you've still been holding on to or not there's an opportunity for new love here there's a flirtatious connection that is more than just a flirt it's it could it could it's love September what you've been waiting for is here it's here don't deceive yourself by staying in a situation that is less than happy we're just going to take this one that flipped over leave those other ones right underneath it gates of triumph Success expands in your life. The gates of triumph are waiting to open deep and wide for you. Inner and outer success is coming your way. Thriving is a state of mind. Accept that you can reach any goal you desire. And even more victories will expand in your life. The more you feel it, the more love, prosperity, fame, and fortune will pour into your life. Arriving in a foreign hamlet, wreaths of flowers are placed around the sacred traveler's shoulders. The townspeople celebrate and honor the traveler. The village elders know the challenges faced and overcome are, are welcoming with open arms. If a situation knocks you over, get up and brush yourself off and discover what you've learned. You aren't a failure if you fall down, only if you stay down. So keep going and believe in yourself. This is what true success is. Acknowledge your accomplishments in life. There are more, they are more than you imagine. Victory, good fortune, and triumph are at hand. You guys are receiving an opportunity for something that is wonderful. Take the lead. Be the boss. Do what's right for you. Find the strength to get unstuck from a deceptive situation. This new connection has happened for a reason. bring you success so anyway this is what I have for September stay tuned for the monthly or the weekly love readings those will be love readings this is kind of like a love reading too but talk to you next time you know what you need to do what are you waiting for you don't have the strength you don't have the courage where is it it's there it's down there Show the world how strong you are.